The European Space Agency released the data from uh, uh, ExoMars uh, camera uh, on one of its uh, orbiters of Mars, and uh, it looks like uh, they detected the, uh, the interstellar visitor, 3 Atlas, that uh, uh, was discovered back on July 1st, uh, 2025, this year, and looked uh, rather anomalous. Uh, the object is uh, quite large and uh, it's also aligned in its path with uh, a plane of the planets around the sun. So uh, it's quite intriguing. It offers us a gift, a rare gift of a highly visible object that uh, many of our space probes can can look at. And uh, right now, uh, you know, a few days ago on October 3rd, it passed uh, near Mars within 29 million kilometers. And uh, this camera was able to detect it. And uh, what we see is a ball of light uh, with a slight extension. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, it doesn't look like a typical comet where you see a beautiful tail of dust uh, stretching away from uh, the direction of the sun. Uh, so it looks uh, still uh, quite anomalous. It's similar to the image we obtained from the Hubble Space Telescope on July 21st. The European Space Agency has released new images from its ExoMars orbiter that may offer the clearest view yet of the mysterious interstellar object known as 3I Atlas. Discovered on July 1st, this large and unusually bright visitor from beyond our solar system has captured the attention of astronomers around the world. Among them is Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who describes the object as both fascinating and perplexing. When ExoMars captured it passing within 29 million kilometers of Mars on October 3rd, the resulting image revealed a glowing sphere with a faint extension, yet without the telltale tail that usually accompanies a comet. The new images bear a striking resemblance to those obtained by the Hubble Space Telescope in late July, which first hinted at the object's strange nature. Although the ExoMars camera is much smaller than Hubble's 2.4-meter mirror, it still managed to capture a clear signature, a compact, bright core surrounded by a soft glow about two pixels wide. The background stars in the frame appear as sharp points, confirming that the glowing patch is not an optical illusion. The data suggest that the light is intrinsic to 3i Atlas itself, rather than reflected from nearby debris, and that its shape remains relatively compact even as it moves through the inner solar system. Even higher resolution data may already exist, gathered by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which trains its high-rise camera on the object during its close passage by Mars. The half-meter telescope aboard high-rise is capable of resolving details as small as 30 kilometers per pixel, sharp enough to reveal whether the object's surface reflects light evenly, like rock, or irregularly, like metal. Unfortunately, the release of these images has been delayed by a government shutdown that has temporarily frozen much of NASA's communication and data sharing infrastructure. The observations are confirmed to have been taken at the right moment, and the data are believed to be secure within research institutions awaiting processing. But for now, the world must wait. That delay has naturally sparked speculation. Whenever an event of cosmic significance intersects with bureaucratic paralysis, imagination fills the vacuum. Some observers online have wondered whether the silence conceals something extraordinary, perhaps signs of artificial origin. Others interpret the delay more simply as another example of how terrestrial politics can slow the pursuit of knowledge. The truth, whatever it may be, remains locked in encrypted data files orbiting above Mars, leaving scientists to analyze what little information is available from the European Space Agency's observations and the Hubble imagery. What is already known is intriguing enough. Unlike any typical comet, 3I Atlas exhibits a glow that appears to extend toward the sun rather than away from it. This inversion defies the expected behavior of volatile materials that sublimate and stream outward under solar radiation, it suggests either a highly unusual composition or a process that current cometary models cannot explain. The object's brightness has also remained unusually steady. A conventional comet, 
heated by the sun, would flare as its ices vaporize, forming a long tail of dust and gas. Yet 3 Eye Atlas shows little of this activity, maintaining its smooth, rounded profile across multiple observations. Its orbital plane adds another layer of mystery. The object's path is remarkably aligned with the plane in which the solar system's planets orbit, the so-called ecliptic. Most interstellar visitors arrive at random angles, plunging through the system from above or below the plane as they are unbound wanderers from distant stars. To enter along the ecliptic implies either an extraordinary coincidence or some selective process that guided its approach. In purely natural terms, such alignment might occur if the object had been gravitationally influenced by another planetary system's debris disk before entering interstellar space. Yet statistical odds are small. For some theorists, this precision hints at a possibility that feels both thrilling and unsettling deliberate trajectory design. Adding to its uniqueness is its apparent size. Preliminary brightness measurements suggest that 3i Atlas could be significantly larger than previous interstellar objects, like Oumuamua and 2i Borisov. With those earlier visitors measured perhaps hundreds of meters across, this one may span several kilometers. A body of that scale crossing into our solar system from deep space is a rare astronomical gift, an interstellar messenger bright enough to be studied in detail by telescopes and space probes alike. Its sheer mass also raises questions about its journey. To survive interstellar travel intact, such an object must be structurally resilient, able to endure collisions with dust and gas particles at immense velocities without disintegrating. Upcoming encounters promise to deepen the investigation. On October 29th, 3i Atlas will reach its closest point to the sun, an event that will expose it to intense radiation and heat. If it contains frozen gases or volatile materials, this passage should trigger activity visible even from Earth-based telescopes. How it reacts will be a key test of its nature. By December 19th, it will pass its closest point to Earth at roughly 1.8 times the Earth-Sun distance. Then, in March 2026, it will glide within 54 million kilometers of Jupiter, where NASA's Juno spacecraft could attempt distant observations. Each stage of this journey offers opportunities to capture new data, spectral readings, light curves, and thermal emissions that could reveal what this traveler is made of. The scientific community is watching closely. Interstellar objects are more than curiosities. They are time capsules from other solar systems, fragments of alien worlds cast into the void by cosmic upheavals. Their study can reveal the chemical diversity of planetary formation across the galaxy and provide insight into how our own solar system might appear to distant observers. For astronomers, each visitor offers a chance to sample the broader population of matter that drifts between stars. Yet 3i Atlas, with its unusual brightness, trajectory, and morphology, stands apart from any that have come before. While the observations remain limited, theorists are already modeling possible explanations. One scenario envisions a fragment of a planet or moon ejected by a violent gravitational slingshot, its surface baked and hardened into a reflective shell. Another imagines a dense metallic core of an ancient asteroid, stripped of lighter materials through countless eons of interstellar erosion. More speculative suggestions propose that it could be a piece of technology, perhaps a defunct probe or derelict object adrift for eons. The notion may sound far-fetched, yet it arises naturally from the data's peculiarities, the absence of a tail, the directed glow toward the sun, and the geometric orbit that seems almost too perfect. To distinguish between these possibilities, scientists must collect a complete light curve, a record of the object's brightness over time. If the light fluctuates periodically, it might indicate rotation or irregular shape, pointing to a natural origin. If it remains steady, that could suggest a symmetrical body, possibly manufactured. Spectroscopy will also be crucial. 
By breaking down the light from 3i Atlas into its component wavelengths, researchers can determine whether its surface reflects sunlight like ice, rock, or metal. Even a faint signature of certain elements could redefine our understanding of what it is. Beyond the immediate mystery lies a larger challenge, preparedness. Humanity has no coordinated framework for investigating or responding to interstellar objects. Each discovery triggers a scramble among national agencies and research teams to observe, model, and interpret data before the visitor disappears into the dark again. The first interstellar object ever detected, Oumuamua, entered and exited the solar system before most telescopes could even target it. A similar pattern unfolded with 2i Borisov, whose tail and nucleus were observed only briefly. With 3i Atlas, the opportunity for long-term monitoring is greater, but only if international collaboration keeps pace. Some scientists have urged the establishment of a standing committee under global auspices to evaluate data from future interstellar objects, assess their potential risks, and coordinate observation strategies. The idea is to treat such events not as isolated curiosities, but as a new frontier of planetary defense and cosmic diplomacy. A network of observatories distributed across both hemispheres could provide continuous coverage of the sky, ensuring that no fast-moving interstellar body escapes detection. Such a system would also allow the rapid tracking of objects that might come unusually close to Earth, whether natural or not. The cost of such a project would be high, yet trivial compared to the stakes. Building a Northern Hemisphere Observatory, equivalent to Chile's Vera C. Rubin Observatory, would require an investment of roughly $1 billion. That is the scale of a single national research budget, or a fraction of what humanity spends daily on military defense. The argument is simple. If an unidentified object from outside the solar system were ever found to pose even a remote threat, the resources required to detect and understand it would pale beside the consequences of ignorance. But the motivation is not solely defensive. Encounters like that of 3i Atlas force humanity to confront the broader question of whether it is alone. The discovery of an interstellar object that behaves unlike any natural comet raises profound philosophical and cultural implications. If such an object were ever confirmed to be artificial, it would mark the most transformative moment in human history, a confirmation that intelligence exists elsewhere and that it is capable of crossing the interstellar gulf. The possibility, however remote, demands humility. For now, the scientific consensus remains cautious. The majority of evidence still points toward a natural explanation, albeit an unusual one. The glow toward the sun might result from non-uniform surface heating or jets of gas escaping from shadowed regions. The alignment with the planetary plane might be coincidence. Yet even in the most conservative interpretation, 3i Atlas remains a scientific treasure, a massive, pristine fragment of another star's system visiting ours for the first and, perhaps, only time. As it continues its journey, telescopes across Earth and in Oregon will watch its every move. Amateur astronomers are already organizing coordinated observation campaigns, while professional facilities prepare to capture its solar approach and eventual retreat. The data they gather will feed into models of interstellar population density, helping refine estimates of how often such objects enter our solar system. Some calculations suggest that hundreds pass through each year, most too faint to notice. The ones we detect may be only the visible edge of a vast, invisible current of interstellar debris flowing through the galaxy. When the long-delayed NASA data finally arrives, it may answer some of the pressing questions. The high-rise images could reveal surface texture, shape, and rotation. Infrared readings might show temperature variations that betray internal composition. Combined with ongoing optical tracking, they will help determine whether 3i Atlas is solid, porous, icy, or metallic. It even with perfect data, interpretation will not be straightforward. 
cosmic visitors rarely fit neatly into the categories human science has defined. Each discovery expands those categories, stretching the limits of our understanding. In the end, the story of 3i Atlas is not only about an object from another star, but about the way humanity responds to the unknown. It is a reminder that curiosity and caution must coexist, that bureaucracy and funding can hinder discovery as much as they enable it, and that the universe still holds surprises capable of humbling even the most advanced civilizations. Whether 3i Atlas proves to be a comet unlike any other, or a messenger from an unimaginable source, it has already achieved something extraordinary. It has made the world look up again, united in wonder beneath the same sky, asking the oldest question of all, what else might be out there?